find this missing where is he what do you mean through this room the wind What's that noise? What's the noise? What's the noise? The wind. Oh. oh no. I'm really scared. <laughs> uh, why? I don't want to do this. I want to go back. I want, I want to go back. I found them. I found them. I found the tires. The tires. Okay, I'm coming back. I'm coming back. Coming back. I'm here at the Westcon parking garage where you can see there's a very interesting phenomenon. Right now, there's actually not very many people here, and so the place is park. But when they do come, what do you find but yellow and white lines? Which ones are you supposed to park in? I don't know. Do you know? Let's ask some people for their opinions on this matter. How about parking on this campus? Do you find trouble parking, or do you think it's very easy? Well, I have, a, I have early classes, so I don't have problems with, with finding parking because I'm here before most people are. So I'm lucky about that. Have you ever noticed in the parking garage that there's yellow and white lines? Yes, and uh, it always confused me when I first came here. You know, which one's the park in between, the yellow or the white? So uh, I just decided to make my own spot everywhere. Do you think that most people uh, go with your logic? Yeah, they. I bet they mostly judge depending on who everyone else is parking, or <laughs> who everyone else has parked, where they have parked. That's what I'm trying to say. Lack of sleep. Have you noticed that in the student garage there are both white and yellow lines? Yes. What do you think that means? 
I think they're very confusing at some times. Some, sometimes people park in the wrong you know, spots. They either park in the yellow one, lines or they park in the white lines between. But um, actually, I, don't, I think it's very confusing because people just don't leave enough room for other cars to park. Is there any place that you'd like to have an additional parking lot made for you on this campus? I wish, yes. Have you ever gotten into this so-called heaven lot? Heaven lot? Next to the Berkshire building, there's a small new parking lot, which people refer to as the heaven parking lot, since it's very small and close to class. Have you ever gotten into that lot? Yes, I have. And how did you manage to do that? Um, actually, I sit, I leave my car, I leave my car in the, the lot, and I just sit there, and I wait for someone to actually walk out of the building. And how long does this take? Do you have to work on your, uh, on giving to charity to get to this position or do, or do any kind of special deeds? Um, nope, not at all. I just sit there and I wait until someone comes out of the buildings um, after class because there's never a spot to find at all. Have you ever found a space? No, actually I haven't. I actually walk to school now. I actually bought rollerblades so I can get to school. I just leave my car at home. In the event that you ever made it into the parking garage, did you notice that there's yellow and white lines marking the spaces? I didn't even know we had a parking garage. I've driven by it, but I actually never can even get in there because there's such a line. So I, I've never actually been into the parking garage. Have you ever heard of the heaven lot? No. Does that happen after you die? I, no. There's a lot next to the Berkshire building. that it, It's a, a new lot, very small lot, and I think many people refer to it as the heaven lot since it's such a wonderful place to get into. Do you wish that you could get in there? Why, certainly. What do you think you would have to do to be able to get into that lot? Um... To get into heaven, I would probably have to stop drinking and um, maybe cut back to masturbating to two or three times a day. There's a whole other dimension to sledding. This bathroom is an example of those that are not up to student standards. Let's ask some questions about what people think about this. Sir, have you ever used the bathrooms on campus? Yes, I have. Do you have, do you have any problems with the bathrooms that are on campus? They're gross. Do you, uh, are there any bathrooms that you like on campus? No. Do you use the bathrooms on campus? Yes. And what do you do in there? Use the bathroom and leave. Have you ever had any problems, or do you prefer one bathroom to another? Mm, no. Do you find all bathrooms are equally satisfying to your needs? To my needs, yes. To others, I have no idea. <laughs> Which one is the worst? I would have to say the upstairs Berkshire Hall is the worst bathroom I've been in on campus. That is a pretty bad one, isn't it? Yes, it certainly is. Do you, uh, what do you feel is the best bathroom? The best bathroom? I don't feel there is a best bathroom. <coughs> have, you, have you perhaps tried the bathrooms in the library? No, I don't, I don't believe I have. Perhaps you should try them sometime. <laughs> Maybe I will. You can see here, bathrooms are equipped with a variety of special instruments designed to accommodate any butt. Adequate mirrors provide wonderful viewing angles and a myriad of toilet options are available. Therefore, it is my choice that the library bathrooms are by far the best on campus. Check it out. So I have one complaint, yeah, about the library bathrooms, and that is the women's ones are on the other side of the library, so we have to walk all the way over there where the men's rooms are like in the center of the library. That's not really fair, so that's just my complaint. What's the best bathroom on campus? Best bathroom on campus is Student Center uh, across the hall from the commuter lounge. Do you have any uh, problems with the bathrooms on campus, the other bathrooms? Yes, I have problems. And I also like actually the, the bathrooms in the library, but problems with all the bathrooms are, God forbid you have to take a dump in any of them because you can't get any toilet paper out. I mean, God forbid you need more than that three inch square of paper to wipe your ass because, you know, it'll take you like four hours to get any toilet paper out. And unfortunately, I'm a messy crapper, and I need lots of toilet paper. 
do you get your hands stuck in the toilet paper dispensers, or does the toilet paper just not come out? It just doesn't come out, so I sit there like a jackass spinning spinning the toilet paper around so I can get a lead. And then when I finally get a lead, I pull on the toilet paper and I get, you know, a little square of toilet paper. And like I said, I'm messy. I need a lot more than a little square of toilet paper. If you had the key for the toilet paper machines, would you use it more effectively? I would think so, yeah. I mean, if I could actually get to the toilet paper, that would be nice. Usually I just, you know, make sure I wear a crappy shirt that day and I just use my shirt to wipe my ass. Can I uh, sell you a key for like $20? You could sell me a key for $25. All right, cool. Uh, uh, uh. Oh! 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 Oh, I love the way you rub me. Oh! 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 Aren't you the naughty little niece? Oh, yes! Oh yeah, all to the right. Yeah, oh, oh yeah. Oh boy. Oh, oh. shine that, shine it up. Oh, take it all. Oh yes. Oh boy. Oh more. Oh you know it. Oh yes, yes. Oh. 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 Oh here we go. Yes. Here I come. Oh, baby. Yes. Look at that. Oh, little Johnny's going to play. Oh, boy. Oh, jeez. Oh. Oh. Mm. Oh. 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 Yeah. Oh. I'm really scared. <laughs> <laughs>